That's me, when I was 13. That day I remember feeling really sad. I'd had a bad day at school. Some of the people in my class said it was dumb and stupid to believe. And in the country I come from, it wasn't that common to believe in Jesus. I had believed in Jesus all my life, but I couldn't actually prove that God exists and that Jesus could help me. But I really believed it. It's not possible, they taunted me. I felt stupid and a bit lonely, actually. It was hard to explain my faith. I wanted to defend Jesus and what I believed in, but it wasn't that easy. I remember walking home from school pretty depressed. Could I really trust Jesus to care for me and help me? I took a manicorn. It's one of those little notes with a Bible verse on it. Grandma always used them when things were a bit difficult. For the eyes of the Lord go over all the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. That verse I read was really a promise. God promises that he follows along with those who have a whole heart for him and that he will help them with his power. Could I believe it for sure? Just out of curiosity, I leafed a bit further back in the Bible and started reading. It was a story about Jesus. There were many people who didn't like Jesus. In fact, there were many who hated him, especially the Pharisees. It annoyed them that he got so much attention and that so many people went to him for help. If they were going to believe that he was the Son of God, he had to show them something absolutely spectacular. Some miracles, some evidence that he was really the Messiah. Then they might consider believing in him. One day, a group of Pharisees went over to where Jesus was. They wanted to have a discussion with him. To put him to the test, they asked him for a sign from heaven. Then Jesus sighed deeply and said, Why does this generation want a sign? Truly, I say to you, this generation shall receive no sign. And with that, Jesus left them. No, it was not the Pharisees who got to experience the miracles that Jesus did. And they never experienced the greatest miracle that Jesus brought, that we humans can have peace and joy inside us that lasts no matter what happens. The Pharisees didn't experience any of it because they wouldn't believe. But others got to experience it. One day, Jesus went to visit the town of Capernaum. There was an officer who lived there He had a servant who was so sick that he was about to die. The officer was very fond of his servant. When he heard that Jesus was on his way to the town, he sent some Jews who were members of the city council to ask Jesus to come and save the servant's life. They came to Jesus and pleaded with him to come. The officer is a friend of our people, they explained to Jesus. He is the one who has built the synagogue for us. So Jesus went with them to go and help the officer and his servant. But as he approached the house, the officer sent some of his friends to him with a message. Say to Jesus, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you in my home. That's why I didn't dare even to come to you. But just say the word and my servant will be made well. For I myself am under authority. I also have soldiers under me. I say to one of them, go, then he goes, and to another, come, then he comes, and to my servant, do this, then he does it. So in the same way, the officer believed that when Jesus said something, he had an authority that the whole universe recognized. So whatever Jesus said, it would come true. If Jesus said that the servant would recover, then he believed that a miracle would happen. Jesus was amazed when he heard this. 
he turned to the crowd who had followed him and said, I say to you, I have not found such great faith even in Israel. This was something completely different from the Pharisees. Here was a man who had not even grown up believing in God, who believed so fully and firmly in Jesus and that he could help. And Jesus did help. The servant recovered completely. Before Jesus' time on earth was over, he prayed a prayer to God for his disciples. He asked that God would look after them and preserve them in faith. But he didn't just pray for those who followed him then. He also prayed for us, those who have chosen to believe in Jesus, even though we have not lived with him or seen him. Jesus longs for the day he will meet us face to face. And his greatest wish is that we keep faith until he returns. All doubt and uncertainty was gone. I had chosen to believe and I would hold on to my faith like a precious treasure. And I did. And since then I have experienced that Jesus lives. When I have a heart that is completely for Jesus, then he sees me and strengthens me with all his might. And I don't have to be embarrassed about my faith. Jesus is with me every day.